It's Wednesday, September 12th. I'm Jeff Fretz, and you're watching Axery. If the euro dollar will be able to break above resistance R1, we can expect next target at R2 resistance. A further rise will be limited at R3. A possible rebound from current level and price could be limited by daily pivot with consolidation underway. A bullish trend for the euro dollar. The dollar yen will have enough momentum, we can expect break above daily pivot and sustained rise will then focus on resistance R1, but rebound from daily pivot will confirm further consolidation. Downtrend will be confirmed if price approaches S1 support, and in this case a fall towards S2 is possible. Our indicators expect a bullish trend today. Following that, the sterling dollar is holding above daily pivot, and we can expect further consolidation, and target will remain at R1 resistance break above this level will be approach next target at R2, but if price falls below daily pivot, it could be a beginning of a decline towards S1 support, a bullish trend for the sterling. As our only bearish trend today, if the dollar franc holds below support S1, consolidation will continue and decline towards support S2 is possible. Fall below this level will confirm target at S3, where the bottom could be formed. Today we start with figures about claimant count change in the UK, which will be released at 9.30 a.m. GMT. Analysts are expecting an increase by 100 in jobless claims, compared to the previous decrease of 5.9 in claims. Also, it will have a high impact on the dollar. Also at the same time, Office for National Statistics is going to release figures about unemployment rate in Britain, and an increase of 8% unemployment rate is expected. Also, analysts are expecting a medium impact on the sterling. At 10 a.m. GMT, Eurostat will publish data about industrial production in the Eurozone. Previous figures showed a fall by 0.6%, and today it is expected to stagnate at 0%, with a medium impact on the euro. Last news for today concerns import prices in the U.S. It will be published at 1.30 p.m. GMT by Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is expecting an increase by 1.4%, compared to the previous decline by 0.6%. A medium impact on the euro can be awaited. And now our summary of the best traders and their strategies on Axery, which are available to you. Sphinx is still the leading strategy in Meritrader. Next is Teo, which is increased by 20 pips. And third place is occupied by Unwabu Strategy, which has gained 526.1 pips in the last 90 days. There were no changes in order of strategies in Multitrader, but IFS Fund increased by 0.04%, and also Jumping FX increased slightly to 12.34%. Low Risk Invest hasn't changed at all, and is stagnating at 22.79%. On this date in 1940, Cave paintings are discovered in LaSalle, France that date more than 40,000 years old. Thanks for tuning in to Axery's broadcast. Have a great day trading, and we'll see you tomorrow.